Hey alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and today's video is going to be another one on the topic of ADD, Attention Deficit Disorder, otherwise known as ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder. I have made a couple other videos like this, I guess this is turning into a series at this point, talking about my experiences struggling with this learning disability and how it's affected me in a lot of different ways, telling little stories, giving advice, inspiration, motivational type of video. So if you clicked on this, you probably have already seen the other two. If you haven't, I will link them down below, or maybe you just clicked on this because you found me out of nowhere and you were like, hey, I have ADD, I wanna see what this girl has to say. Or maybe your daughter or your best friend or your girlfriend has ADD and you don't really understand it. That's my purpose with these types of videos. I really wanna spread awareness and let you guys know that there's a lot more that goes on with that type of learning disability than meets the eye. I feel like there's a stereotype that people just need more time on tests because they can't focus, they can't pay attention, or they're lazy or they're stupid. When in reality, that's not the case at all and our ADD affects us in a lot of ways that you guys may not even make the correlation to. For example, I'm a terrible driver. Is that because I was just born a terrible driver for no reason? I'm just reckless and I just choose to not pay attention to the road and like think that I don't need to obey the laws? No, it's because I have a really hard time paying attention. It's really hard for me to just look straight and put my turn signals on and look at the other cars because when you're doing that, you're ultimately paying attention to multiple different things. Like for me to pay attention to one thing is hard enough, let alone five. And then if someone's talking, if there's music, if it's cold, outside if I have anything else on my mind even if you can't tell like I have a test today or my best friend is mad at me or I got in a fight with my mom that's all I'm thinking about and it affects everything that I do whether it's driving or having a conversation with somebody else or trying to film a video etc so a lot of tasks that may be considered simple for others are really difficult for us and same thing with conversing sometimes I'll interrupt people and I won't even realize it or I'll talk too fast I could sit there and nod my head and you'll think that I'm listening to you and I'll have no idea what you said even if I was listening it's not necessarily like it always goes in one ear and out the other but it's more so like in one ear you comprehend it differently it takes you like an hour to understand what they actually said and then out the other ear the other night I was trying to do my homework it had like three sentences for the instructions very very simple and I was in tears so frustrated trying to understand what they were telling us to do for like 20 minutes I know that makes me sound really unintelligent and that's why having ADD has always been my biggest insecurity growing up because I feel like it makes me come off as stupid I do not have a low IQ. I do just fine in school. It is really difficult for me, but I can't keep up with everybody else. I just have to try a little bit harder. But yes, reading instructions like that sometimes for me is extremely difficult, extremely frustrating. It provokes a lot of anxiety. I had to have someone else sit there and explain to me what the teacher was trying to say because I'll read the first line. I won't understand it. And then I'll be so frustrated and anxious and focused on that first line that when reading the other two lines of instructions, I can't actually comprehend what it says. Like I'll read it and immediately like I haven't actually obtained the information whatsoever because I was still focused on that first line that I didn't get. And you know, back in the day when we had word problems in math class, or maybe if you're still in that kind of math class in high school, middle school, whatever that was, and they put in unnecessary information to like throw you off so it makes the word problem harder. That's what everything is like for me in general. Even if all the information is necessary, everything seems unnecessary to like what it's trying to say. Whether it's someone speaking to me, directions for something, my brain can only take so much. So I need things to be very simple because when I see a paragraph of just bleh, I'm like, I don't want to have to read all that and understand it. It's very different for me when it comes to reading. That's just me personally. I know there's a lot of people with ADD who cannot sit down and read a book. For me, when I can get lost in something, reading for fun, which I hardly do anymore, I was able to comprehend it well. But let's say that I had a book assignment in class back in high school and I had to answer questions after I read X amount of chapters. The whole time I was reading it, I was just worried about the chapters and if I was going to get that done and if I was going to understand the questions. And then I would go through reading everything and not know anything that I just read. I wouldn't have soaked up the information because I was so focused on the end task. I guess that's a big part of ADD. We're so focused on understanding everything that we're unable to understand everything. Whereas sometimes when things happen more naturally to me, it's easier for me to do. And like earlier, I was trying to film this video. I sat down for like over an hour trying to film it. Couldn't do it. Just kept stuttering over my words, not making sense. I would zone out halfway through when I was speaking, forget what I was going to say next. Took a break, deleted all the footage, came back a couple hours later. I was able to sit there and get it done in like 20 minutes. And that's how I feel like it is for a lot of people normally. They can just sit down and accomplish something. But for me, it's random. I could be in the mood where I really want to get something done, but unfortunately, I'm not able to because my mind just isn't there, even though my schedule is. I will be talking for like 30 minutes and I'll think that I was speaking for 10 minutes. Like, I'll have no perception of time because I just get so lost in what I'm saying. Something else I've observed about myself with ADD in heightened situations with emotions, like if something's really stressful or you're like arguing with someone, it's harder to focus, like, times a million to the point 
point where I personally can't even express emotion. If I am really stressed out and like fighting with somebody or like whatever's going on, I can't listen to anything they say. Like even if I wanted to, I just literally can't. I can't even speak about how I feel because I don't know how I feel because my brain just shuts off. It's the craziest thing. Doesn't matter that I take Concerta, which is basically Adderall. If you guys didn't know, I take 64 milligrams of that every single day to help with my ADD and it does help a lot. If I don't take it, I'm basically a zombie. Like I'm so unproductive, it's ridiculous. And I'm a very productive, ambitious person. I love to get stuff done. I'm at my happiest when I feel productive and when I am accomplishing things and when I don't take my medicine or is that the right word? Medicine? See, things like that right now. Obviously that's my prescription, that's medicine, right? But I'm gonna think about it for the next 15 minutes while I'm talking about other things. Like, is that really the right term? Did I say that correctly? My brain just gets stuck on certain things that it doesn't need to be. I get anxious about things when other people wouldn't need to in my situation. Right now I have a couple projects coming up. I have like an art essay assignment, a math project and some other stuff I'll do within the next month. And to a lot of people they're like, oh, you can procrastinate a little bit. That's so much time, the assignment's easy. But for me, even if an assignment is easy, when the teacher gave me a page of instructions, that's pretty freaking overwhelming. And I know that if I try to do it on an off day and that off day is right before the assignment is due, then I'm screwed because on an off day, it's very, very extremely difficult for me to get things done the way I want them to get done. I shouldn't even really say an off day, but an off time period, whether that could be an hour or 20 minutes or an entire day. You really can't control when you're able to focus and when you're not able to focus, but not having a lot of stress on you or people giving you a hard time for your ADD, for me personally helps because when people are understanding, that's like the best thing I could ever ask for because I have had people get mad at me in the past who just didn't understand what I was going through. Even teachers giving me a hard time, like literally bullied me for having this disability, not taking it seriously. I've made story times about this in the past. I've talked about it in my other ADD related videos. I'm in college right now. I'm about to freaking transfer to a university. Like in less than two months, I will be at a four year college, two years to go, and then I have my bachelor's degree. That is actually insane to me. College was something I really wasn't sure if I was going to be able to accomplish and it's been very, very hard for me every step of the way, but I've done the things that I needed to do to get to where I'm at. Insomnia is something that goes along with a lot of people who have ADD. It's just sort of a part of it, plus the medication doesn't necessarily help. See, medication, not medicine. Earlier I said medicine, remember I was stuck on that? I honestly have not gotten that off my mind until I just said medication instead of medicine. To anyone else I sound crazy, they're like, potato, potato, like who really cares? But to me, I'm like, I said that wrong, now I'm gonna think about it until I figure out what the real definition or word is that I should be saying when it comes to Concerta, which I take for my ADD. I go to CVS, I don't tell them that I need medicine, I tell them I need medication. Wait, is medicine a shorter term for medication? This is just what goes through my brain, like honestly when I say things. And so I'll be talking about things and I won't even know what I'm saying because my whole brain power is just focused on that one little irrelevant detail of something I already said in the past. So my mind could be in one place and what I'm saying could be completely somewhere else where I feel as normal people who don't struggle with ADD, they could be talking about something at the same pace that their brain is thinking it or they think it and then they say it versus me, I think things and I say them almost like before I think them. Also, I'll say things that I'm not even thinking and I'll think things I'm not saying, which makes it very confusing and very hard to, I mean, I don't even know how to explain that right now. So sometimes like I genuinely will say things I don't even know that I said. I will say things and zone out on myself as I'm saying them. So I'll forget I told someone something already. I'll repeat myself. That's a really big one. And sometimes people get annoyed with that. We don't do it on purpose. We wish we didn't do it either. Or honestly, sometimes I feel like maybe we do it a little bit on purpose, but not because we're trying to annoy people, but because we assume naturally, subconsciously that everyone else has the same attention span we do, the same ability to focus that we do so they didn't hear us the first time. There's nothing wrong with us. It's not that we're incapable. We're very capable. If anything, I feel like people who have disabilities, whether it's mental or physical, we're stronger than a lot of people give us credit for because we are able to live our lives overcoming something that is so hard on us every single day. It's very straining on my brain to have to feel like you're thinking 20 million times as hard as everybody else in order to get the same result. Pretty much everything in my life is a word problem like I explained earlier. In high school, I used to get teased if I would ask the teacher a question, like she would explain something and I would need clarification because I was trying so hard to listen and I was listening. Even if I'm listening like all the way, I process things differently. I will take things out of context. I'll want to say it out loud so I feel like I really understand what I have to do. Even if I did understand, I didn't know if I understood it because sometimes I'll think I get something and I actually don't get it at all and I need someone to explain that to me. Yeah, Ali, you get it. Like that's exactly what you do. Or no, actually switch that. You do this instead. Kids would laugh at me. They would act like I was stupid. They would roll their eyes. It was like a running joke a lot of the time during high school. So it got to the point where I wouldn't even want to raise my hand at all. And I would rather just take the L and like not get a good grade on whatever it was that I was doing. Or I would not 
I'll ask questions and I would do the wrong thing by accident because like I interpreted everything that they were saying incorrectly like I missed part of the directions or whatever and then I would get yelled at and like publicly embarrassed in front of the entire class and kids would make fun of me then too so honestly I could just like never win in situations like that I felt you guys are amazing whether you have ADD or not just for clicking on this video like I love you you're so awesome Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here to my channel. Tap the bell by hitting it twice. That way you get all my notifications. That would be amazing. I do have a Patreon if you guys want to check that out for exclusive photos, private Snapchats, etc. That will be linked below. Follow my social media. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later, alligators. Bye.